Hello friends, this video sets part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1 to part 8. Venn diagrams. What are Venn diagrams? Most relationship between set can be represented by means of Venn diagrams. But what are Venn diagrams? These are diagrams with rectangle and closed curves and this is named after John Well. The universal set is represented usually by a rectangle and it subsets by circles. For example, this is a representation of Venn diagram where the universal set is all number 1 to 10. You see all the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All these are inside this box. So all the elements which are inside the box consist of universal set. And you see a subset A is created out of this universal set that is in a rectangle form. And all the elements that is all the even elements are part of this subset A. So how will present Venn diagram? All the elements all the elements in consideration that is the universal set is part of the rectangle all the elements should be inside the rectangle and then inside rectangles we keep on creating circles and each circle is a set for example when we throw a die we get one two three four five or six either of these so for this if you want to represent Using Venn diagram, we have to create a box and in this box, we will have all the numbers. Now, from this set, we want to create a set. We want to create a set A, which has all odd outcome, that is 1, 3, 5. Then what we do is we create a circle and we put all the odd elements here. We name it A. Other elements, remaining element that is 2, 4, 6 will be somewhere inside the big rectangle. In the same case, let's suppose we have two set. One is all odd and B is all even. That is 2, 4, 6. So in this case, again, we'll create a big rectangle. All the elements should be inside this. Now since there are two set, we'll create two circles. Since there are no common elements between 1, 3, 5 and 2, 4, 6, both the circles are distinct. So this guy will have 1, 3, 5, we'll call it A. And this guy will have 2, 4, 6, B will have 2, 4, 6. And we know since all the elements are covered, we need not write any extra element. Let's take one more example where we say, in the same set of rolling a die, A will have 1, 2, 3, 4, all the elements less than 5. And B will have 4, 5, 6. Here, you observe 4 is a common element between A and B and all the elements are covered. To represent the same using Venn diagram, what we will do since we know there is a common element, it will be the intersection of two sets, A and B. The common element is 4, so we will put here 4 and then we will say A is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we will say 1, 2, 3, 4 is already included. So we will see A is having 1, 2, 3, 4. And B is having 4, 5, 6. 5 is, 4 is already included, so we will say 5 and 6 here. And since 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the elements are included, we need not write any extra element. That's how we create a Venn diagram. We create a bigger rectangle, and all the elements should be part of the bigger rectangle. And then inside the bigger rectangle, we keep on creating sets. And each set will have elements based on whether they are uh, mutually exhaustive, that is, uh, exclusive, that is, there is no common element we create or there is a common element we create different kind of figures in case there is no common element both the set will be separated in case there is a common element in the set then there will be an intersection we will discuss this more just to reiterate the definition of Venn diagram it is nothing but a diagram which consists of circles and closed curves usually circle the rectangle consists of rectangles and closed curves usually circle the rectangle part consist the universal set. All the elements inside that big universal set will be inside the rectangle. Thank you. 
visit examfear.com to watch free education videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.